What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Lure Painting with Zach Baker. I'm Zach Baker and today we're going to be painting this four and a half inch pike swim bait. If you're looking to paint your own just like mine, I'll have both the link to the blank and to the stencil that I'm using in the description below. You can pick them up both at Barlow's Tackle. It's gonna be an easy lure pattern, so let's not waste any more time and we'll go ahead and jump into painting this bait. All right, so we got our bait ready to go here. First thing we're gonna be doing is spraying some opaque white as our base coat. That way the rest of our colors will stand off nicely. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do two coats of that. Okay, got the first layer on. I'm gonna hit it with the hair dryer. That way I don't end up with any running paint. And then we'll do our second coat. And on to the second coat. Okay, next color is going to be this neon yellow, or uh, like the chartreuse color is what I call it. And we're going to go ahead and cover up everything that was white, and we're going to make it the yellow. This is a very thin color, so I'll probably do uh, for sure two coats, possibly three, depending on how it's spraying on there. But we're gonna cover the whole bait in this color. Okay, so next thing we are going to do is we're going to flip this bait over and then we're going to be spraying some orange on the belly. Got it like that. And then we're going to be using this neon orange. And then what we're going to be doing is going straight along the belly here and then we will paint the entire tail as well. I got it a little bit thicker than I planned, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit her with the hairdryer before I do any more. That way it doesn't blow that paint down the side of the bait. Alrighty, I'm going to fade it up the side just a little bit. And then we're gonna hit this whole tail. I'm going to remove this back clip and then hit the back of the tail too. Okay, we are going to flip this bait back over. We're basically gonna do the same thing we just did, only it's gonna be on the back, and then we're gonna be doing it with a uh, darker green. And slightly, slightly, slightly fading it on the side uh, of the bait. Cause we don't want it too, we don't wanna go too far, cause then it's gonna hide all that chartreuse color. So we're just gonna try to focus it right on the back, kinda right there on the ridge a little bit. We're gonna hit it some, and then of course we're gonna leave the tail alone because we want that to stay the bright orange. The green I'm going to be using is the Olive Green Deep. It's one of the inks that you can uh, airbrush with. Okay, so now we're going to be doing the screen straight along the back, and then we're gonna do it up around the eyes just a little bit, and then fading it right on the edge of the bait onto the side just a little bit. We're gonna do this green right up here around the eyes and kind of cover the mouth just a little bit with it as well. And before we move on to the next step, I'm going to hit it with the hair dryer because we're gonna be using a stencil. Uh, so the stencil will be touching the paint. So I wanna make sure that the paint is dry before anything else touches it or rubs up against it. The last color we're going to be using is this transparent black and what we're going to do is use the stencil. I'll have the link to the stencil below if you guys want one for yourselves. They got them at Barlow's Tackle. It comes with a couple other designs in that little package. So what I'm going to do is hold this up here up against the bait and then we're just going to spray let it right along it and that's going to give us our stripes. So I'm just going to hold it right up against the bait. We've got that black loaded up inside there and I'm going to try to do just like a little section at a time. That way I can keep holding down the stencil tight with these two fingers and spraying right in that area and then stopping before I go all the way down here because the stencil isn't tight up against it. Stop about right in there, take the stencil off. And then because I'm gonna be laying the stencil on there again, I'm gonna hit this with the hairdryer really quick before we move on. 
I'm still torn between leaving the tail bright orange or doing stripes on it for right now. I'm going to leave it bright orange if I can. Okay, hair dryer. And we got this one little empty spot right here, if you guys can see that. I didn't quite get it covered, so I'm gonna go back and add just a little bit more. Same thing up here by the eyes. It, there's, they get thicker. The stencil has wider gaps on this side and gets skinnier up towards the front here. So I'm gonna use a little skinny part and try to get it right on top of the eyes. There we go. And then we are going to repeat the same thing on the other side. After I hit it with the hair dryer, of course. Okay, and while I have the stencil out, we're gonna come back and do a little bit of black right around the back of this bait. But before I do that, cause I'm gonna do it very lightly, I'm gonna go ahead and take the stencil, kind of hold it on there and just give us some really light stripes. Okay, now as carefully as we can, we're going to take this, the transparent black here, darken up just over top the green around the eyes and then right along the back. I'm not making it solid black, so I still want some of that green to show through. I'm just darkening up just a little bit. Then we're gonna go right along the back. Just like that, a little bit more on the nose. I'm going to clean out the airbrush. We'll hit this with the hair dryer and then we'll come back and glue in some eyes. I think I like the tail being solid orange. I guess if you wanted, you could do some speckles or maybe if you turn the stencil the other direction and did some stripes that way, that might look cool as well. Uh, but for right now, and for this video, we're gonna leave that tail bright orange. Okay, I got some pretty simple eyes. They're just red with the black dot in the center. Uh, that's what we're gonna be using. As always, I like to use a dab of super glue and then I like to have the eye ready before I put the glue in there as it dries very quickly. And there's a little bitty eye socket, so it's not gonna take much glue. Just a little bitty dab. And then we'll do the same thing over here. And there we have it. I'm going to let this dry for a little bit, get the clear coat on it. I actually might go back and fill in that spot just a little bit more with some more stripes. And then put some clear coat on it, put the hooks on, and we'll come back and take a look at what she looks like all finished up.